Hi, it's Chris here, and I'm here to give you another video of Alchemy Stars. Um, today we are going to just talk about precarious delivery. Um, I did these first three levels, and just want to kind of give some tips about doing them. Um, I have attached the videos I've made for just the third one, the EX3 dilemma, and bear in mind I did those kind of blind and just kind of mucking around with the teams. But yes, um, so this kind of um, AX1 from the clap, obviously you need from the element characters. I think for this one, it's a really good thing to do to always kind of look at the battlefield characteristics, kind of gives you a really big clue. And obviously it says like Warren's and monsters take damage when knocked back to the edge of the field. So if you've got someone who can knock back, again, actually helps with the other one, the other kind of elements, then that's kind of really useful. So you know, you've got characters who can knock back, I think there's like, well not Boppa, Boppa does the other thing, who was it, um, there's another one, oh please do leave a like and a subscribe if you do find this useful in any way, um, yeah like Rabbi, so you can use like characters like a Rabbi or Erica, Erica pushes, I believe. Uh, oh, and then maybe she does it. Hmm. And maybe she does it. She just resets. So yeah, I think like um, Bopa is useful, and maybe like Sadie. Sadie can knock back as well. So there's probably one or two more as well. But yeah, that's kind of useful for this one. But to be honest, because they're ascended three level one, you can kind of overpower. You can sort of overpower them anyway. And same thing with this one. This one you just need detonators, so that's all right. Um, for forest, I think it's actually the same kind of idea. Oh, you need to protect these ones. But again, you can use snipers for this first one. These two aren't relatively not too difficult to beat. Um, but mainly focus on building snipers around this team. And then this team, again, you want to use detonators for this one. Um, yeah, there wasn't really anything. Actually, this this kind of battle, you kind of just need to just... There's lots of enemies and it's a big field, so you just kind of need to be able to maneuver around. If I go back to the Thunderclap, I know for this one, you need to... These two um, crow eyes, they're quite... And evil eyes, they're quite powerful. In terms of, oh, they're quite annoying to get rid of because they kind of regenerate their shields every turn. So you need to attack them loads. So when it comes to EX3 Dilemma, um, I'd say the hardest one in the end was actually the third one. Mainly because it has the bruiser. Um, this thing has the, the Dreamwalker has, well, as HP decreases, defense increases. But also it has the bruiser thing. So it's got the sunlight and daylight um, mechanic. So it gains some of its health back. And so you just need lots of detonators, which actually became a problem when I got to the end of this. But I kind of won in a clutch way, so <laughs> that was kind of fun in the end. Um, the other ones, this one you needed... Again, you need more kind of auroras that allow you to attack. So anyone who can kind of diagonally attack um, is very good. And being able to move closer to the boss is really good. Um, I guess the problem you have with this boss is it obviously it's the um, Hercross. So it creates all these kind of stones, which because you're just using fire elements, you can't actually destroy. So eventually he does his huge attack, which he absorbs all the stones and it just takes a lot of health off. So you just got to kind of have a little bit of health risk regain. And this one here, you kind of actually needed snipers. If you take some snipers and you'll get this little effect, the final damage taken by enemies will increase based on their body types when they take single target damage. So they'll actually, who actually, you know, take more damage from snipers. So that's what I recommend here. So that's a really good thing. And like when I used, you know, my detonator, Sharon, I would rather use Sharon on the EX3 or something. But yeah, that's the main thing really. I have attached the other three, um, well, I've attached the video for all the other three 
on top of that after this. Um, for especially watch the third one because the third one, like I played so badly in that one, and do not deserve to win that at the end, but somehow do. And for that, I will see you in the next video. Bye.
私たちは地獄から来たのだ負けるはずがなかろう俺についてきなチャンスを探すわ。ここにぶっ込むしまよったか尋問を始めよっか何か燃やしてきてくんない火ってのは飛びでもあんのよ尋問を誰一人逃がさない地上の手よくしないリスクがつきものよ資本投入地上の手、れ準備できたわ怖がらないで。
肩ならしは終わりか準備はできてます手と鍵に力特に準備できていますこの次だ修行団をやっても強い我が一族の栄光を見るがよい我が命をうなれ導きのままにすべてとの目に焼き付く発生してくださいスペードライト判決優勢
我が一の命をうなれ導きのままに判決ユーズ